hello youtube <laughs> uh thank you so much for clicking on this video uh, i just want to talk about um hiring when you are an entrepreneur and especially when you are uh, at your starting starting phases you know early stages of entrepreneurship i have been in business for on my current business i have been in business for okay i have been in business for like 10 years now you know yeah 10 it has been 10 years and the current business i have been running for about six years now so i'm i'm i'm, I'm running a lot of businesses at the same time and what i have learned what i've learned about running these businesses is that the people the people that you you need to hire are so important you know don't ever make a mistake of hiring a person because they need a job or because they've got the right qualifications you know or they've got the right experience you know yes there is an added advantage like that's the cherry on top but the the main meal the main meal when hiring a person is the attitude you need to hire for attitude you don't want to hire someone that you're gonna have to babysit you know you need to hire someone you're gonna who's you're gonna you're gonna able you're gonna be able to give a task and they, they're actually able to to see through that task from start to finish without you having to without you having to babysit them and follow up you know because when you get the right person to do the job you don't have to check up on them every now and then whether they've um ish that's a call coming but it's okay i'll get back to them uh, there's a call coming in i'll get back to them so you need to have the attitude not the not the, the the qualification you know especially when you are in your first few years on entrepreneurship because you don't have time to babysit people there's a lot of things that need your attention and the last thing you need is to be focusing on things like employee conflicts people who are not meeting their targets people who are not getting things done that you have to babysit you need to follow up every now and then that's the last thing the moment you give someone a task they need to know that the task needs to be done and like they don't you don't need to follow up on people you know um when you make that mistake you're gonna at the end of the day you're gonna be doing everything that the employee is supposed to be doing because because they're not able to finish the task so it's important to hire the attitude a person needs to be able to start and finish a task that they are given you know and then um what did I want to say? I forgot what I wanted to say. But then, you need to hire for attitude. And as well, put people on probation. You know, I'm I'm one pe person, I don't like conflict, number one. I don't like solving. Like, I don't want a situation where we're always sitting down, we're resolving. Why did you, like, disciplinary hearings? I don't have time for that, you know. I really don't have time for that. Like, I, I just don't have time. I just need us to get things done, period. I don't like solving anything, like... Not that I like running away from issues. The point is, I don't have time to sit down and be solving things. I, I just don't like solving anything. Let's do what we're supposed to be doing. So with that said, it's important for you to put people on probation. One week probation, two weeks, one month, three weeks, three months, six months. Put people on probation so that you're able to gauge if this person is going to be able to work with you. Work with you, not be able to to do what they are supposed to do based on their education but just check if that person will be able to to fit into the the the, the, the business you know um put people on probation no matter how much people try to 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 what's that to what's that when someone is acting eh? no not i not acting is not the word that i'm looking for no matter how much people try to pretend pretend is the like no matter how much people try to pretend at some point the true colors are going to show within that probation point that probation period so it's important for you to keep, put people on probation so that you're able to gauge if this person is going to be the perfect fit for the business if this person gets these things done without being babysit and if if this person is has the right attitude for the right attitude and the right emotions and you know for the business because as much as you don't like um going to hearings you need someone who's going to be a team player you know not someone who's going to be fighting with the other employees fighting with team members you know gossiping things like that you really need to hire someone who knows what they want in life who knows what they want in life so when i talk about attitude it's not about attitude towards work alone but 
attitude generally towards life itself because if you are someone who's negative when it comes to someone something else and positive when it comes to work at some point your negative attitude is going to trickle down into your 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 attitude towards work so generally we just need someone who's able to have the right attitude someone who's positive you know because somehow their attitude their behaviors are going to somehow come to work with them at some point and you're going to have to deal with it and as a female entrepreneur i don't like solving anything like i don't like conflict i don't like solving i just need us to get things done you know and i'm sure there's a lot of people even the male entrepreneurs who are who don't we just don't like solving what we just need to get things done let's get things done i hired to I hire you to do this one thing you need to do it without i mean within the set period you know without me babysitting you let's get things done so with that said guys um <laughs> hire for attitude don't hire don't hire them don't hire the the, 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 the the qualification the qualification is the cherry on top the qualification is the cherry on top but then the attitude is the main meal the attitude is the main course <laughs> other things just the cherry on top other things are just the cherry on top hire the attitude at the end of the day you need a team player you need someone who gets things done you need someone who is self-motivated you need someone who who's a go-getter at some point because you just need someone who's going to get things done without being babysat without dragging their feet and 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 and, and. so yes i just wanted to to say guys hire the attitude conduct interviews hire the attitude put people on probation and just check is this person gonna fit in this organization with that said guys thank you so much for clicking on this video um i hope you i hope you learned a thing or two um i've made a lot of mistakes when, when coming to hiring people a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes and with those mistakes um i was able to get to where i am like i'm, I'm able to gauge if this person is gonna last in the business or not i'm able to see that like even during the interview we like you're able to see that mm -mm, this one is not gonna work yes this person is qualified but the way the way a person presents themselves the way they answer the questions in interviews the way um the word the, wor the wording that they use when answering it tells you a lot about a person you know so when you're interviewing a person don't listen to the answer listen to the attitude as well listen to the words that they they they, they listen to the words that they, they 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 use um look at their body language i remember we were once interviewing this other lady for a position and um we asked that a question was put to her if she she wouldn't mind cleaning the 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 the, the, the office because to be honest we don't have a person who cleans the office you know we take turns to clean the office you know we don't have someone who who is put to clean the office we take turns to to, to to clean the office because that's something that has to be done and her, her answer was that no I, I definitely would mind sweeping because that is not my that is not my that, that's not what i went to study at school <laughs> you know that's not what i'm here for like that's not what i went to study and she was so confident when, when answering this question she was so confident when answering this question you know and it's okay like it's okay for her like it's okay for her to, to to have that attitude towards life towards her career but it's not okay for for us you know because we don't want someone who's not going to be a team player someone who, who wants us to hold her like an egg you know yes it was unfair maybe to ask her that question because you are here for a financial accounting position or you're here for a sales and marketing position but at the end of the day we need to hire someone who's going to fit into our, our like our current situation we need someone who's going to fit into that current situation you know maybe some point we will hire that lady when we've grown and we've got companies who come to sweep and blah blah clean the office but right now as much as you're qualified sister you don't fit into the current situation the current you know the current environment of the business so you need to look at those kind of things when you're interviewing don't only listen to to, to the answer the answer is well practiced the answer is well googled <laughs> But then the attitude, the wording, the the body language, you know, the the way a person presents themselves, they, it actually says a lot about the type of person that they are. And yeah, so after you've interviewed a person, 
also check on check out those things don't listen to the answer and put people on probation um and just see the type of attitude that they have guys with that said um i need to go and i think i have said a lot hire the attitude don't hire the experience don't hire the, 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 the qualification guys because in most cases a lot of these positions you can it's actually easy for you to train a person to do something like it's easy for you to train train people it's easy for you to train the skill to train the know-how but it's really not you can't train the attitude you can't train someone how to have a good attitude at work you can train how to add one plus one you can train how to handle customer service you can train how to how to the how to you can train but the attitude you can you can't train someone how to have a good attitude. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about attitude today. Um, yeah, please, what do you what do you look at when you're hiring a person, and how do you actually how do you like what do you look at when you when you hire employees at your workplace, and what type of people do you enjoy working with? And yeah, please let me know in the comment section. Bye.